station. We're going. We're going. You can't do this to me. We're playing. Previously on Last Stop. What's wrong with my dad? Jesus! You've stolen my body! We're both in exactly the same situation. There's got to be some cause, some connection between the two of us. You've swapped brains? Yeah. Okay. It'll look too suspicious okay. if I'm alone with Molly. On Monday, we're going to have to cover for each other. I'm going to have to pretend to be you, and you're going to have to pretend to be me. Let's see how that works. I mean... I don't think we can pull it off, but we can try. So what's the plan? The only way this is going to work is if we imitate each other exactly. It's got to be perfect, right? So good that even my own mother wouldn't know the difference. All right, Danny Ocean. Let him finish. This sounds fun. <laughs> First order of business, 7.30 a.m., run with Amy. Amy's got a mind like clockwork. She is a stickler for punctuality. If you're even a minute late, she'll suspect something's up. Right. And if I am, she'd automatically think I'm an imposter. You don't know Amy. Jack loves Amy. I do not. <laughs> Can we get back to this, please? Let's review the itinerary. 7.30 a.m., run with Amy. 7.50, visit coffee shop. 7.52, order skinny caramel macchiato, no foam. 7.53, consume beverage. Seven fifty five. jump off London Bridge. 8.15, buy Molly a new mobile phone. Okay, <laughs> now he's messing around. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta run with Amy. So I meet Amy. How do I explain what happened yesterday? First, you'll have to put her completely at ease. She's a bit of a detective or something, so don't be all nervous, all right? She can smell fear. Just be super casual. She seems very skilled. Okay. So I just go up to her and say, "All right, love." Pardon? Dad, no. <laughs> Try and bring it into the 21st century. Look, just distract her somehow. Talk about something she loves. We're out of cereal. I'll pick some up after work. Focus. Look, Amy's a big theatre nerd. She could talk for hours about various plays she's into. It's incredibly boring. She's also been saying she fancies a holiday. Distract her with that. Holiday, theatre, got it. Let's do um, musicals. So, seen any musicals lately? What was the deal with that pisshead the other day? How come you're hanging out with fat middle-aged blokes? Dang, bro. I think I. It, it's it's kind of weird seeing this side of um, Amy because you know, before she was kind of nice, I guess, but she was at work. I kind of want to read her mind. Like, if I was mean, I would be like. I want to have that ability analyze her again. See if she smirks when she takes my promotion or job or whatever. I don't know. Anyways, it's cool. Oh, him. Don't worry about that. But since you asked, he's actually a great guy. You know, salt of the earth type. So are we going for this run or what? Meat and potatoes. I always think of him as meat and potatoes. You know, no fuss. Some people say that's a rare quality. Keep up if you can. Wow, I feel great. I've not been able to run like this in years. He's spent years. enough time on the treadmill. Oh, I imagine I come across quite self-absorbed. Well, you're no role model, but I wouldn't beat yourself up too bad. What do you mean about me not being a good role model? Enough with the chit-chat. You're giving me a stitch. Come on. Let me hear it. What is it that makes me such a bad person? Bad person? You're harmless. I just said you don't set a good example. You're just like me. You're a total workaholic and a massive geek. A massive geek. Not too bad. Yeah, I can live with that. 
All right, Jack. You know what I just realized? I feel like I was, um, I'm sorry. I, I feel like I was saying that Amy is bad or something. She's not, she's literally human. And I would have, I think I would have had the same reaction if some guy was somehow knows everything about me. I, I think, my bad. She's totally normal. I don't, this is her, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I guess I tried to like read too much into things because Amina's story is kind of like stressful, I guess. That was great. I feel fantastic. So when can we do this again? What's going on with you? You all right? Sorry, I don't know what came over me. Call you tomorrow? No, it's fine. I'll call you. Take care of yourself, okay, Jack? We'd better get our story straight for Shaz. Shaz is great. You're going to love her. Hang on, what do you mean story? Well, um, you may be surprised to learn. It turns out you and me are related. Welcome to the family, Jack. <laughs> no, oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's you. I was just talking to John about his mysterious cousin. All right, cuz. You know, I don't tell you this nearly enough, but you are definitely the handsome one in the family. Hello. So, now your family secret's out, I'm dying to know more. What was it like growing up with John as your cousin? Can't complain. You know John, a total gent. Always has been. That's kind of you to say, Jack. I would only add that- What was that? She's happy? It's easier by you being such a kind, considerate, patient, intelligent, handsome young man. So how long's Jack in town for? Oh, not long. For the foreseeable. Just a few days, really. You can discuss it. What's there to discuss? Sounds like you both need to get your stories straight. Where were you before you came to London, Jack? Here and there, couch potato. Oh, you know, staying at home, playing computer games. He was in Cambodia. Wow, Cambodia. Yeah, he was working for the UN. You know, peacekeeping, noble stuff. Oh, no. John? I think you're boring her. He's done well for himself. Now he runs this high-tech startup you see selling solar-powered submarines to the super-rich. Oh, no. Yeah, I almost can't believe it's true. Well, that all sounds fascinating. I hope life isn't too slow-paced for you while you slum it with us. Well, I'm going to head off, John. Don't be too late. Cheerio. See you later. She's nice. Submarines. Too much. So what is it that you do for a job anyway? Are you a taxidermist? A taxidermist? No, I'm, I'm, I'm a creative. I, I work in design. I'm an artist. Taxidermists are people who take animals and pull out their insides and make them stand up and things. It's awesome. No. Oh. Well, you don't look like an artist. Yeah, well, not anymore, I don't, do I? <laughs> but that's my job, I'm a video game developer. That's so cool. Yeah, oh, thanks. Yeah, not, not traditional games like shooters or RPGs or free-to-play stuff. My team makes empathy games. It's art, really. You know, games which say something about the human condition. Cutting-edge stuff. If you say so. I played this game where you had to run really fast over a road. Only I didn't, and I got hit by a train. I died. No. There's this one Shaz plays where you've got to arrange coloured balls. Did you do that? Uh, no. That wasn't me. Did you make that one with the train? No. No, I didn't. Sorry. You should have been a taxidermist. <laughs> oh, we're going to work. This will be interesting. So where do you work? Superfab. It's not far from your office, actually. So what does a computer game person do? Play games all day? 
Sounds pretty easy. No, to it's me. tough. There's a little bit more to it than that. Dad, can you put me in one of Jack's video games? Could I put Molly in your game, Jack? Is that even possible? Let's just try to get through the first day to begin with, yeah? I'll walk you through it. Don't forget, I need to be taken to school at some point. Yeah, yeah. Now, first you need to find my desk. You can't miss it. It's the one with the robot doing the sick dab. Sneak past Sonia, the receptionist. Avoid any awkward questions. She's a bit dippy, so you shouldn't have any problems there. She didn't sound that dippy on the phone. You're mean, Jack. How old are you, anyway? Eight. Eight and a half. Good age. Why? Don't know. Don't know. Uh, can we actually sneak by? Are you serious? Hello, stranger. Um, maybe we can, uh, oh, wait, can we? All right, I guess we're going this way. La la la. All right, fine, fine. You look well rested. Uh, thanks. You do too. Thanks. Get in there, Jack, my son. Good morning. Derek's in a good mood. Oh, what the heck? Uh... Right, Derek. The office clown. <laughs> I wouldn't tell him that. He'll have you fired. He's my boss? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you never told me how your holiday was. Oh. Warm. Balmy. Great sunbathing weather. You should see my turn. In Iceland? Okay, well, I've got to run. Keep on keeping on. Jeez. Bye. So, what do I do when I get there? It's Monday. That means sprint planning. You're going to coordinate with your team on their tasks for the week. That's no good with stuff like that. Molly's right. I don't think anyone would follow me into battle. It's simple, trust me. Jonah's working on modelling the last of the cream cakes for Mrs Clapton's tea shop. Letitia's putting the finishing touches to the AI for the retirement home scene with the shell shock veteran. And Tobias is writing up the design for the interactive funeral procession. Ah, oh, that's tough. is midway through implementing Rumble support. You may as well be speaking German. Your game sounds bad, Jack. It's about embodying the experience of someone who's witnessed death and is coming to terms with their own mortality. It's poetic. It'll make you cry. Jonah Cakes, Letitia Shell Shock, Tobias Funerals, Maya Rumble. See? You're a natural. Uh, hello. Um, We're leading the meeting. Good weekends, everyone. Get up to anything interesting? No. Okay, um, let's see. So I'm supposed to go around everyone and check what you're all working on. So, um, Jonah. I have to remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. I thought he was going to know. Ah. You got something to do with an interactive funeral procession? Uh, no, sorry. Maybe that's not right. Okay, Letitia. I don't think any of these are the right answers. You're going to be doing cream cakes. By the way, feel free to step in if I get anything wrong. No? They're not saying a word. Right okay, Tobias. They're rumbling. Are you rumbling? Actually, I'm not sure that's right. And finally, Maya. Are you doing the IA? The, the AI? One of them. 
Sorry, I'm not sure that's quite right. Look, even I can tell this meeting is a bit pointless. You all know what you're up to, even if I don't. I guess what you're really looking for is a pep talk, isn't it? Some words of encouragement. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this, but none of this comes naturally to me. You all look like nice, bright people. You don't need to listen to an old fart like me. An I'm sorry fart. that I can't give you anything more inspiring. Maybe I'll just leave you with the advice that my dad gave to me on my 18th birthday. Keep your head down. Don't take unnecessary risks. Stay out of debt. Cheers. Come on, baby. Don't fail me now. Give me that Derek Lovin. Yes, yes, yes! I see it. Okay. <laughs> Hello, child. Welcome to my tea shop. I am Mrs. Clapton. This is ridiculous. What the hell? Headshot. Come on, Jack. Let's have our catch up. Oh man. Okay. I don't know anything about Jack. You're fired, Jack. Uh, okay, I guess I'll go this way. Jack, I'm loving that TV series you recommended. Did you catch the latest episode? What did you think of the chapel scene? Yeah? It's very, um... dense. That the Lord forgives, I do not bit, and then he pulled out the machine gun and was all... <laughs> blew that bugger's chin clean off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was my favourite bit too. Jack, I'll cut right to it. Your team is doing fantastic work. Really outstanding. But the publishers over the next month. Surprise visit. You know how these things go. Sounds exciting. It'll be a shit show. I need you and your guys to crunch for the next few weeks. Obviously, we'll take care of pizzas, take away, whatever you guys need. Pizzas, of course. Work overtime. It'll be good fun, won't it? The team hard at it, down in the trenches together. It'll keep any seven-day stints to a minimum, but if you could have your boys free up the next few weekends, that'd be great. Pay me more, are you kidding me? Seven-day stints? Weekends? You're having a laugh, aren't you? Jack, the company expects it of you. And you don't want to let the others down. I, I, I mean, I'd, I'd love the overtime pay, don't get me wrong, but... I can't give up that time right now. Overtime pay? You're getting a little off message, Jack. As a line manager, I need you to set an example. I'm not getting overtime pay? I'll set an example, all right. Bloody cheek. Don't raise your voice to me. I expect the team to pull together, to show some passion. Oh, really? Give me overtime pay. Are you kidding me? Pay up. Hey, Dad. Oh, hey, John. Jack's got something to tell you. Yeah, now, now before I go into details, it's important you know that a lot of your colleagues were really impressed with how I handled things today. She doesn't Jack look happy. Got fired. Tell me she's joking. No, 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 I didn't get fired. Uh, Molly, don't tell your dad that. 
Okay, well, we'll maybe have to get a little bit fired. Told you. Between you and me, I think that Clive fellow overstepped his authority. I mean, I was just trying to give him some friendly advice. I think we both made our lives better, you know. We 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 both had terrible bosses, I guess, and uh, you know, we, I guess I, I'm assuming I also got fired. So I mean, it works out. I just get a new job, I guess. This is a disaster. It's all good. We still got my job, and no offense, but it pays better too. I saw your pay slip. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh uh Everything okay? Something go wrong? I've got something to tell you. Wait. What? You got fired as well? Pretty eventful day, right? Oh, this is not happening. What a nightmare. Oh, but it was all gravy when you lost my job. Do you two need some privacy? Very cute. Okay, that's it. I'm going to demolish a cheesecake. Who wants some? I want two slices. Hey, that's my figure you're ruining there. But yeah, I'll have a quarter. I'll have, I'll have a quarter. A quarter? Okay. You'll get what's left, mate. I want to play more of this story. This one's the best. That was funny and awesome, and Domestic Affairs is sad. This one's okay. Um, has a lot of mystery there. Keeps me intrigued, I guess. I, wanna, I just want to play John's story. <laughs> but anyways, that's, uh, that's Last Stop.